through. Ladies and gentlemen, this is indeed Birth of the Expertus. Yes. It's been a while for this to come up, but let's just do it. This is one of our opponents, who's Dave. I believe he's Cornod. If he isn't, we can check back later and uh, see if he is or isn't. But so far, let's just call him a Cornod. Here's, Zo here's a Zocom GDI opponent, known as Bobby. Yo Bobby. And yes, he is the older brother of Bob. Lol. Who just happens to be this person. Core GDI. Yeah. Anyways, those of the enemies, let's see my partners for today. Here's the mighty screen rusher who is blue GDI, core GDI that is. Here's me, Zocom GDI, and pink, cause I'm special. And here is Killer4716, who is Red Traveler59. Booyah. It's enough about that, time for the map. Okay, you start near a small green tip field, which will go relatively fast. And near your base, if you're one of the first two people, you will have a green expansion field. For, that's for me, killer that is. And as for the other person, you might not have a green expansion field, but you do have a blue expansion field. Which Scrinwoss was right next to in this one. And also, near mine and killer's bases, and next to Dave's and... No, not Dave. Uh, Bobby and Bob's bases are these EMP coils which can easily turn the tide of a battle and you've got two tip spikes down here as well as two um, further up north and you've got other tip spikes around the place as well so as you can see you've only got a little bit of a struggle happening over here involving my rocket squads and the enemies rifleman squads I sadly lost that battle but I will get my revenge Damn you, Bob. Damn you. But, I've done one thing Bob has failed to do. That's right. I've been able to capture the tip spikes. That's 500 economy for me. And slowly but surely, the other one's getting there as well. And... Poof. Two tip spikes for me. Zero for Bob. Yes. Damn good. Anyway, let's check out Screen Rusher here. He's got three foxholes with, I'm guessing, riflemen and missile squads in them. And that's going to create a mini defensive line over here just in case Bob or any other enemy unit decides they want to deal the damage, so to say. Screen Rusher's base is already coming on pretty darn well. Already having a war factory and a barracks and having a crane as well and plenty of uh, and also having a refinery as well so he's got plenty of Tiberium. Um, this is Bob's base. He's obviously got quite a few buildings also, and he's also got that tip spike near him. And that engineer failed. Lol. Learn to back up your engineers, Bob. You complete failure. Failure, sorry. And oh no. Is Screen Rusher going for a Storm Rider rush? Oh yes, he is. 
killer! Oh yeah, it's killer time. Look at these storm riders flying over the map. Just gonna follow them very, very closely. And as soon as they come into contact with enemies, zap, zap, zap. Rain down hell upon them. Also, raining down hell on Dave's little expansion field. Taking out base defenses, taking out power plants and stuff. With ease, not forgetting that. Oh my lord, Dave is being beat down already. LOL. Storm Riders are still coming in. They are poning at everything. And now we're going to go deeper into the base where there's no anti-air whatsoever. The only anti-air that I can see are, well, missile squads. And they're not really doing a lot of damage against these Storm Riders now, are they? Bun. So as you can see, um, Killer's still dealing with damage and is still completely and utterly poning with all his might. Now he's going for that construction yard, is he going to destroy it or... Right, yes? No? Oh, I guess he's going to go for some other buildings first, that's nice. Very good mid-game or early game. Tactic. I would say mid game actually because you have to be tier 2 to get storm riders. But very good use of storm riders it was by Killer. Now taking out even more base defenses, taking out even more buildings, taking out that refinery which I crossed through. And so I guess I can officially say that at this time Dave is screwed. Yeah. Dave screwed. Until all of a sudden, why are they going back? Uh oh. Oh, if you are wondering why they're going back, don't blame me. Blame Screen Russia. He actually said, hey, let us in on the action. Killer went back, and you'll see what happens to Dave later. But anyways, let's get back in on this one. As you can see, I've got two bunkers defending this tip spike over here. That does belong to me. These bunkers have um, one missile squads and rifleman squads in them. And that's another engineer that's failed at getting the tip spike. Bun. And this is Bobby's base, which is full of refineries and is ready to rumble and also has plenty of base defenses scattered all over his map lovely and you got a stupid engineer walking through the tip field learn to go around him you stupid twat anyways kill this defensive line up there pretty darn cool those red lights coming out of nowhere, which means Storm Riders! Storm Riders coming again. They're coming to my rescue because I'm under attack. My spikes are being attacked. I am crapping my pants here, thinking, What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? I'm being attacked. Oh my lord, what can I do? Hammerheads! Yes, those are my hammerheads. And they are beginning to pwn any enemy that is nearby with absolute ease come on just look at them shredding through those infantry and vehicles like they were nothing huh. Dom 1 Bob 0 and the hammerheads go back for a much needed repair and look what Killer did, he destroyed the bridge so now Bob, Bobby and Dave have to take the long way round. LOL. Unless someone fixes the bridge, obviously. But I don't think anyone did. And as Killer Storm Riders go back home, they encounter some rocket squads and some APCs, but they are easily taken out. No problem whatsoever. And also, 
Ooh, a sneaky, you and sneaky squad from. Uh, I think it's Bobby. Yes, it is Bobby. Sneaky squad of Bobbies has entered Killer's base. Not doing very well though, because the storm riders are kicking ass. Oh yeah. Praise to the storm riders. Mm -hmm. And as we look at my lovely base, my zone raiders, it's time to go. See you in part two.